Um, you know, really pleased today with the, the overall effort. Obviously still not a, a, as clean as we like as we talk about chasing perfection where all three phases are playing to the to the best of our abilities. A lot of things to still get cleaned up on, but for a first road uh, opportunity for us as a team, was really pleased with the way they responded. Um, wasn't perfect, but for us, we'll be able to get in, uh, watch the tape. We were able to play a lot of players, which is always good for the development of our team and as a whole. And uh, I know our team is looking forward to getting back in the shell next week. Uh, night game against SMU. Uh, we'll enjoy it tonight, get back, get on the film, and get back to our Monday through Friday preparation. Uh, with that, I'll open it up to questions. We'll take questions for our media that's uh, here in person. Hi, I'm Maryland wide receiver Rakim Jarrett. If you've been hurt in a car crash, people will tell you you need a lawyer. My mom says you need my lawyer, the Jack Litch Law Group. At 855-BIG-DOG-1. Don't just get a lawyer. Get, get the, the lawyers. lawyers. If you're hurt, listen to my mom and bite back with the big dog. Coach, you didn't have to punt until the fourth quarter. What, talk about your offensive performance, especially Leah today. It was efficient, uh, which is what we, we want to see out of our offense. I thought Leah played really well. I mean, you know, a week ago he came in the locker room and, and, and really felt like he didn't play well because he didn't throw any uh, touchdowns. But I still thought he played well enough for us to win a week ago. Today, uh, our receivers really stepped up, made some big plays early. Uh, Leah did a really good job of uh, the ball location on some of the deep shots that we've kind of uh, didn't have the timing down with a week ago, so it was good to see us, as I say, make that jump from week one to week two on the offensive side of the ball. Um, special teams, our kicker continues to do a good job of kicking that thing out of the end zone. Uh, our awareness on the, the uh, surprise on side, it was great to see us execute it. Our players understanding exactly kind of what we've asked them to do, knowing that you know Charlotte has nothing to lose and that we, to expect those type of plays. So it was good to see us execute on that. And then defensively, you know, though it wasn't pretty, uh, we, we held them to 5 of 13, I think, or 5 or something on third down. So we played good situational defense, though we played the run, but still a little too much yardage for my liking. Steve Coach, Kirby. Coach, he went into the, uh, looked like he went into the training room, jogged back out, played one play, then you took him back out. Is he okay? Yeah, he's great. Um, cramping up, had to go in and get an IV, um, came back out, and then Billy wound up getting cut, so he had to come out for a play. Uh, even though we used the timeout to try to see if we could get uh, him substituted back in. Unfortunately, wasn't able to do it, so we brought Leah back. But I was really happy to be able to get to play Billy uh, in, the, in these situations uh, as we continue to try to develop a second quarterback. Um, just like on a personal level, when you see Talia go down on the field, what's going through your mind? Where's your heart rate? You know, if I keep it PG-13, I was like, holy and uh, good that they came over immediately said it was cramping. You saw it during the course of that drive. He was trying to stretch out the cramp in his calf, and then next thing he moved to his quad. So we ran him in. Our medical staff did a good job of getting him IV'd up in case we needed him. And then, uh, you know, unfortunately, Billy cut himself, had to come out for a play, and we were able to get Billy back in. Was that the first half kind of like, did you feel like he really got into a rhythm out there the way you want him to? Uh, you know, when you put up the type of points we put up in the first half and the efficiency, I think it's not just him, just the offense in general, how it's run, how it should be executed. I thought our players really did a, a good job. Dan uh, did a tremendous job having the offense kind of prepared. We come out with openers, and the openers were, were executed at a very high level, which allowed us to score a lot of points. Right. Defensively, you played a, a lot of guys, but you used a lot of safeties today. What's How's the health of the safeties, and how do you evaluate that backfield? Yeah, I mean, we, we, we played as – the guys that travel, we have intentions on if they're traveling, they're in position to play. And, you know, Dante Trader and Bo are our starters. Uh, you know, Tarheeb was out today, so we, you know, he typically plays nickel. So we had to move Glenn Miller down to the nickel position uh, to start the game, which then in turn, you know, put, uh, you know, put 26 in there as the corner who also can play nickel. We were able to get 14 a lot of plays. Isaiah Hazel came in and played a bunch of plays at the safety position. And because of the way the game was, uh, we intentionally made sure we got some uh, meaningful reps for guys like uh, you know, uh, Shane, uh, Shane Mosley, who came in and played in the fourth quarter. Rex Fleming played a lot for us. So anytime we get to play that many players, uh, it really helps our team. What did you think of uh, Jacob Copeland's performance today? 
know, stepping up as a transfer. Didn't see a whole lot of him last week, but really with those two touchdowns today, kind of came out and showed turf fans what. Yeah, he played a lot of plays last week, just didn't have a lot of opportunities. And again, that started with us not being efficient on offense. You know, today he was able to get the touches. He made the most of the opportunities. Uh, we all know that he has big playability, the speed, the size to go up and make plays. And I was happy to see him kind of do it. Now, the thing that, you know, that, that happened to have that, for him to be able to play that way, is he really put the extra work in this week in terms of being able to get lined up, get the call, and go out and execute. So, you know, Jacob did a really good job preparing himself for the opportunities he got. Coach, the offensive line only allowed one sack. Not only that, uh, you ran for over 190 yards. What were, what were you most impressed with that group today? I mean, we're just going to keep trying to plug away. I'd still like to see us get a few more opportunities in the run game. Um, you know, I thought, you know, the backs ran hard. You see the explosiveness that I've talked about in this backfield. A guy like Antoine Littleton, I can't keep saying this guy changed his body from the time he got here to now uh, and showed great size, speed, and burst. And it was great to see him finish that run. Kobe McDonald played a lot for us a year ago, came in, made plays. You know, Roman was very, really steady for us, and then even Ramon Brown was able to come in. And so, as I said before, that backfield reminds me of the young group that our receivers were that now have become those veteran players, and I think they'll continue to get better. Okay. Sorry, just to move on. Mr. Are you injured? He is injured. Um, we'll know a little bit more on Monday. Uh, he, he ended up cutting his finger. And so, uh, yeah freak accident in the locker room and we'll, we'll get uh, more on his status when we get back to see where he is. Um, Billy obviously got to you know see the field you know for an extended period today. What did you make of his performance and I guess how important was it to not see a drop off between the ones and twos? Yeah I, I was glad to be able to play Billy. Um, you know he came in and executed the offense. You know when you bring a player in, in like Billy the, the key especially the way the game was flowing we wanted to stay in our offensive system. I mean, we could have easily turned around and just handed it off, but we have to develop our team. And so, you know, in no form did we want to try to run the score up. We were looking to just run our base offense. We used time on the clock. I was happy to see how he executed, you know, the four minute system without necessarily having to go into our huddle mode. And uh, he took what the defense gave him, made a play down the field, Octavian on the, the boot out, the boot play. And uh, it was great to see him the way he executed it. One or two on Zoom, unless anybody else has any in person. Okay, we'll go to Varun on Zoom. Varun, are you there? Do you have a question? Can you guys hear me? There you go. Got you now. Uh, I wanted to ask uh, your team's defense only had one sack late in the game and no turnovers for the second straight game. Are you concerned about the defensive output despite playing an experienced quarterback? Not concerned about our defensive output. Obviously, we'd love to have more turnovers. Uh, those come with, with the opportunities that present themselves. Uh, we continue to stress the importance of trying to take get takeaways. The one thing I think we did a good job on defense was limited the big plays. I think they had a couple that they got out of tempo, but for the amount of plays our defense played, um, I thought they did a really good job of limiting the big plays. Obviously, we would love to have more turnovers, but uh, we'll get in, we'll get, the, get, get a chance to evaluate the film. Um, we need to get more pressure on the quarterback, no doubt about it, for as many opportunities as we had to rush the quarterback. We need to take a look at how, uh, how we're rushing the passer. All right, the last question. Uh, Emmett, if you still have one. Coach, uh, I wanted to ask you quickly about uh, first road trip of the year. I know it's always hard to go on the road. Uh, obviously, you guys come out with a victory. Um, how do you think the team responded today, especially some of the younger guys that this is you know, their first road trip uh, as a part of the program? Yeah, winning on a road is really tough, and especially for, you know, when you look at our team, as I described it, we have a veteran group that kind of runs the top, and they understand how we do things. But we've got a lot of really young players on the bottom end, and typically we have a little bit more of a, a group in the middle that has experience. And so we've got a lot of old and a lot of young. And so for the young guys, it was a great opportunity against an out-of-conference opponent to go on the road and, and kind of get a feel for how we travel, the way we do things. And uh, I was pleased with it. We didn't have a lot of uh, – a lot of things go wrong with how we travel, how we prepare, and it was a great opportunity, as we know, because as we know, as we get into the Big Ten East, 
uh, conference and we have these away games that this was a great opportunity for us to kind of get used to being on the road together. Actually, one last one. We have Charlotte. Hey there, Coach. Um, you've set high expectations for this offense, obviously, and now seeing what they're able to do and the points they're able to put up. Has anything surprised you about what they're able to actually do when it comes to this time? No, not really, because when this this offense, the way it's built, we have playmakers in on the perimeter and the backfield. We've got a dynamic quarterback, and then we have what I feel like the most improved offensive line, you know, in the country. And when you have that formula, you're very you're very diverse on offense. And so, I think what you saw today with the offensive explosion we had was just the players that understand our system executed at a high level. A week ago, we had too many lapses of where we'd have big plays and then the negative plays. But, you know, we got in, got it fixed. And, and as I said a week ago, you typically see your biggest improvement from week one to week two. And I saw that out of our offense and was pleased that we were able to get, get it done and play the way we played today. All right, thank you, Coach.